fucking eyes. I think I've done it. I know not nothing to most of you, but this is my first silver in the wild. You got me a mercury dime. I'm gonna have to clean it up and I'll show you guys later. Man, I'm excited. It's done. Oh, drop the pinpointer. Awesome. I'll get a date and bring it back to you guys. GoPro stop recording. Look at that, guys. He found him a Chinese. Is that what it is? Yeah, it's a coin. I looked at it. <laughs> oh, you want it back? I want to look what? at it. At least I all I saw know. was the square oh, man. hole and I stopped. I knew it wasn't a washer. Well, that makes two of us because oh, I found that something is like a Chinese coin. I found something like that too. I want to show you. I don't know. I mean, it may be modern. I don't know. It was down there pretty deep. I've yeah. seen a lot of channels where you they find those. how deep it was. It was like eight inches deep. Dude, that's too cool. <laughs> that is pretty sick. <laughs> All right, I got. Let me put it in my fancy coin holder. I got one I want you to see. Is it still counting? Yeah. Uh, yep. Yeah. Okay. First one. Yeah, buddy! <laughs> Finally! Oh, knew it was gonna happen. Oh. Merc. It's a Merc. 40. First silver three. in the wild, you, man. You'd want to live dig another nail, but a really deep one. You never know. You never know. This could be it. Could be the one. Could be the one. Looking for it. A lot of trash. <laughs> We finally broke the live dick curse. I was getting ready to yell, nail it. That's it, buddy. Oh, that's uh, one what, of you the. You got a sharp? No, it's one of the Confederate ones that's been fired. See the ramrod marks on the top? Oh, yeah. Let me that check that so bad cool. boy out. That is too cool. So, yeah, the Confederates were on that side firing over here, but it's the sand. It doesn't really expand too much. Oh, daddy like. <laughs> awesome. Walk into the truck. Love it. Stupid Dave. Stupid Dave. <laughs> yeah, I didn't get silver either. Oh, man, this guy. <laughs> That's awesome. Finally broke the live dick curse. I love it. <laughs> That's a heavy sucker, too. Oh, man. dude, you want to get hit with one of those. He just won. <laughs> uh, all right, so what kind of signal did you have here? All right, so right there somewhere, I put my holes back extremely well so you can't really see uh -huh. it. But uh, right about where your machine is, I got a, a 1233. And I was like, okay, good, might be a bullet. And then uh, it was a piece of wire. And, uh, and then, so I got here, and this was a 1234, same depth. I was like, it's probably wire, but I gotta dig it, might be a bullet. And so anyway, I just felt it when it came out, the heaviness, right in, right in here, right there. So I, uh, oh, come on, baby. Oh, there it oh, is. Oh, I knew it. Oh, there you, there you go. oh look at that, guys. <laughs> oh, that's a heavy sucker, too, man. Yeah, that's a 57, uh, .577 caliber, I think. What is that? .577 caliber. They're rifles so this is a two-ringer, huh? Or is that? Well, that if it's, oh, well, that uh, no, be, it's a... I don't know. You know what? That may be a sharps, actually. I think so. It's solid oh, dude, on the. It's solid sharps. on the bar, bottom. It's a fired sharp. So check it out. That's a flat bottom sharps. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So that is not a 577. I think it's a 54 caliber. But anyway, you see the mark, the little circles on the top. Yeah. That is the, the ramrod mark. Oh, okay. So that's where okay. they shoved it down and they fired it. And I bet once you get some dirt, you can see. Yeah. You see that line going all the way yeah. down. That's actually the the um the the grooves in the barrel. Um, Very the, the nice, man. That is a a fired sharps, is what that is. 
That's so cool, dude. Great job, bro. I love it. Uh, I love it. So is that one better than mine, or? Well, yeah, but. All right, everybody. This, hang up like a 24, 27. Now I am at a Confederate Union site war area, and just pulled this knife out. I think it's a knife. It looks like a knife. I'm not sure. I'll have my buddy look at it. I don't want to beat up on it just in case. But that is pretty cool. Yeah, it looks like a knife to me. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong, but it looks like the tang on that end. And it still has some kind of piece of wood for the handle on the back. Uh, we'll get back when we figure out what it is. All right. Let's see when I take something else back. GoPro, stop recording. Just looking Eleven, for a rice patty. Give me a I target. see. It was about right here. So maybe 10 inches or so. And then all of a sudden, this is given away down into a sub hole here. And as you can see, it's right there. This is well, set if you on guys look at it really close, you can see him waving back down there. That's right in China. In <laughs> China. If I get bit by a snake. Can I have your CTX? Nope. Oh, yeah, that's definitely a penny. <laughs> Good small penny. What is this? Looks like some uh, kind of hinge. I'm, see, I'm thinking positive. I'm thinking like bullet mold, something cool. It still looks cool. It is pretty dang cool. Yeah. A door hinge or something. It's got a gear on it. See it? Oh, uh, yeah. I wonder what that is. Nice. Pieces. Uh, no, no telling. Is that a pulley? Pulley wheel or something. I don't know what that is. That's pretty neat though. Let's see. Right, make sure I didn't leave anything. Look at that. Oop. All right. To a part of a hole. clock or I don't know. Yeah, that could be that too. That was one big clock. Oh, big boy. We will. Uh, it looks like. I mean, there's a. That's that wind up inside it. Yeah. And it's got a bunch of pulleys all around it. Little gears Great around it. Well. We'll let Dave clean his clock, and we'll get back at it. Clean my clock. Let's see what you did there. <laughs> yeah, it's going on. All right, everybody. Here at the wrap up, you can see I found a lot of trash. Uh, clad, got some weedies in there mixed up in that stuff. But uh, all in all, wasn't a bad hunt. Dave did find a token or coin from the 1700 Chinese uh, pretty neat coin I guess the way they did it back then was uh, uh, they wrote the emperor's name on it instead of the year so I kind of researched it back to 1700s got some of that on the video kind of had to edit the video out to not show too much of the area that we were at um, I did find my first silver coin in the wild awesome I already got it framed up cleaned and framed and I found these little odds and ends I don't know what they are but uh look kind of cool wasn't really sure what they were uh, I think this is well it's some kind of buckle don't know what kind it is pretty big and for a horse not sure and then I found this guy so we were at a confederate site <clears throat> Confederate Union site um, <clears throat> and this sucker was down there pretty deep uh, you got the blade on it still part of the tang a little bit of wood or whatever that was on there still whatever it's clipping to hold it on not sure got to do electrolysis on it see if I can clean it up but uh didn't want to mess with it too much but just wanted to show you guys what we found uh, if you guys ever need anything for metal detecting, all your metal detecting needs, I would definitely recommend to go see Heath Jones over here, Treasure Mountain Metal Detectors. That's pretty awesome. Give you a great deal. It doesn't try and upsell you. Yeah, that's what it's all about. 
Also go check out his channel, History Seekers. You guys probably already do, but give him a look. All right, man. Till the next time.